Welcome. I'm Peggy O'Neill. Welcome to today's live where we're going to have an experiential exercise that, that will support us to experience reality and move beyond concepts. Welcome. I'm the founder of this Facebook community, Answering the Call, and the creator of Wisdomary Leading, which is a way of leading our lives, our organizations, our teams, our families, the world, based on the understandings of the great wisdom traditions. All great wisdom teachings and science say that we share our being with everyone and everything. And so that's what we're up to here is to know who we truly are so we can fully and freely express that knowing in our lives in all ways. Thank you for joining us today. If you're here live, please say hi. And if you have questions, comments at any time. Hi, Sharon. I'm very grateful that you're here. If you have questions or comments at any time, please post them. If you're watching this on replay, please put hashtag replay in. And again, any questions, comments, let me know. So let's dive right in. So, uh, so it's, we're going to do a little bit of talking about concepts at the beginning, just so that there's a background of understanding as we move into an experience of reality and what what uh, and what that means. You know, so we'll be walking through an experiential exercise to experience reality in a in a way that gets us beyond concepts. Uh, so And so why are we so immersed in living through concepts? Well, early on in life, we were taught things and told things like, pay attention, listen when I talk, look at me when I speak to you, concentrate, make an effort, sit up straight, those sorts of things. And whenever that happens, those sorts of demands are counter to our natural natural ability to be in a state of sensory reactiveness, to just kind of know what to do now, to be present to what to do now. So we start listening to all those demands, takes us away from ourselves, our own sensitivity to how to be. So and we so we then we think there's something we have to do to see, something we have to do to hear, to smell, to taste, to feel just becomes automatically what we think has to happen instead of that it's a natural experience. And so as we make all these efforts, then that starts taking us away from receiving and experiencing the full amount of sound or sight or whatever our senses might be perceiving. And then we're constantly efforting as well. And that effort is completely unnecessary. We don't have to do anything. So we've been trained to work at what's really natural. So since we're uh, accustomed, so accustomed to seeing as well, we focus and look, look, right now we're seeing, right? We're watching, there's some hearing, but our other senses aren't as alive as well because we're so focused on seeing. Alan Watts said, there is too little recognition of the vast difference between the world as described and I'll add the word taught, and the world as sensed. So we want to become aware of vibrations of life and that can be similar to how we experience music. We can also think about it that everything that happens to us, everything we experience is actually sacred. And when we experience this and acknowledge this and relate to it this way, everything we experience might lead to something else. We don't know where it's going. So as we become more sensitive, then we're more sensitive to find out what a source have available for me, what knowing, what's possible for me. Just so an example of this too, and knowing more about ourselves and what's true for me, what is me and what's not me. You know, if we've, we've all had a piece of cake or, or you would know this, have a piece of cake, there's too much salt in it, immediately we know, oh, that's too salty. We just know because it didn't taste right for us. So it's that sort of thing that we become sensitive in a way that we go, that's not right for me. There's nothing wrong with what, I mean, maybe a, a salty cake, I guess you could say that's wrong, but we just know, but we start knowing, oh, that's not for me. 
but not with any judgment. We just start knowing it. So we want to become sensitive to life in that way. Oh, that really clicks for me. That really resonates. So there's something in us, something innately there that tells us how it wants to be. But we've been educated thoroughly not to listen to it. We've been following what ought to be, what should be, what we're supposed to do, what we're not supposed to do. And so we're not following our own orientation a great deal of the time. There's, again, nobody's done anything wrong. Everybody's con been conditioned to be this way. But we're opening now to what's possible, to being in the world in a new way. And so we want to, what's, what I'm offering today is that we're here with more curiosity, discovery, openness, and actually longing for more depth and richness in life. So we're going to explore sensing some more. So right now, just breathe naturally. Just breathe naturally. As you do so, notice and know that that's your unique breathing. It's yours uniquely. Just notice your breathing. Notice your heart beating in your chest. That can be challenging to do. Again, we're so used to not paying attention to the inner workings of our bodies that it might not be initially easy to notice your heart beating. Feel the feet, feel the floor on which your feet are placed. You might have shoes on, but feel the floor that's underneath your shoes. Feel your butt on the chair. If you have something to drink around you, a glass of water, any sort of drink around you, then take a sip of it. Don't swallow. Don't swallow. Just put the liquid into your mouth. Don't swallow. And hold it there for a bit and notice the sensation of the liquid in your mouth. Notice the temperature. Is it cool, warm? Notice the feeling of the liquid swirling around. You can swallow now if you would like. Again, if you have something there to drink, pick, pick that cup or glass up and feel it. Just notice, does the glass feel cool, warm? Run your fingers up and down it. Feel, I mean, do it slowly. I started doing it quickly, but <laughs> do it slowly. Let your feel, feel the fingers touching the glass. Feel that experience, not so much paying attention to the fingers, but experience the experience of that touch, touch, the, the smoothness or the coarseness of it, the feeling quality of that glass or that cup. The temperature of it. You can put it down now if you'd like. 
and you're hearing me now whenever I talk, notice the hearing that's occurring. Notice that you hear a sound, and that's your own unique way of hearing me. You hear me differently than any other human being does. As with every sound, you hear every sound differently from the way any other human being does. So allow yourself to hear your hearing. And I'll keep talking for a few more seconds so you can hear. Notice the hearing that is occurring. You might notice some vibrations of hearing as you focus on hearing. Now I'll keep talking for a few more seconds while you notice your hearing. Notice your hearing. And I'll move on. You can do this obviously all on your own after we've done it together. Now notice whatever you smell. We often think we don't really notice the smell in the air and yet the air does have a scent to it. See if you can notice any what you smell when you breathe in. Notice any smell. And you might notice as we're going through each of these items how rarely we pay attention to any of this that we're moving through life and not paying attention to what these senses are actually sensing, what we're actually feeling, tasting, what's occurring as we hold and put something in our mouth and put our feet on the ground. And now touch your tabletop or your computer gently just touch it gently and move your fingers around on the computer or the tabletop and notice notice the texture of the table how smooth it is or not the table I'm touching is um, isn't smooth I don't know how to describe it but I can feel the texture of it that I don't normally pay attention to Notice the texture that's right there all the time. As I mentioned too, Joseph Campbell thinks that those of us that seek more meaning in our lives are really seeking more aliveness. And this is one way to experience more aliveness, to experience life fully, rather than just thinking, oh, this is a table. I'm used to a table. We don't even think about it. We're just using a table instead of, oh, there are senses here. As I touch the table, touch the computer, what, what, what's that feel, not what does it feel like, but to notice the feeling. Notice the smoothness or the texture. Notice the edges of the table or the computer. Feel the edges. They're always there. Give us different experiences and aliveness in life. Slide your feet back and forth. Experience the movement of the feet against the floor. Experience the air uh, moving on the sides of your face, in front of your face. Even when we're still, there's movement. The air is moving. Can you notice the subtlety of that movement? Subtle movement of the air. Move your body side to side. Notice what that's like. Notice the space in which you move as you move from side to side. And 
Now let your eyes wander around the room you're in until something catches your attention. It could be a desk, a pen, a cup, a picture on the wall. It doesn't matter what it is. Just for whatever reason, at this moment in time, it's interesting to you. It's catching your attention. So just look at it carefully. Notice its shape. Notice its color. And really look at it. Let your visual sensing take it in. Let your eyes touch the thing as if they were fingers capable of extreme sensitivity. Extreme sensitivity of touch capable of smelling, hearing, tasting. Bring all of that. Don't worry if that makes any sense or not. Bring all of that into seeing the thing that has caught your attention. You don't have to try to sense all of these, but let the possibility of knowing in all of those ways be with you. Open to seeing it beyond the visual of the eyes. Just as we see each other, other people, when we're together. Now ask yourself, how does it feel? There is a feeling dimension to this thing that you're looking at. This unique sense knowing that's shared with that thing, your unique sense knowing with that thing that you're sharing this experience. You're experiencing the expression of that thing. Everything has a unique feeling dimension to it. How does it feel? By focusing intently through all of our senses and then asking how does it feel? We move out of analytical thinking, out of the brain, and begin to move in a different kind of cognition, one that's intimately interwoven with feeling. So what we just did with that particular example, if you want to make a note of it, there are three is in initial steps. The first is seeing, really looking at what is right in front of you with all of your senses. not just seeing, but with all of your senses. The second is asking, how does it feel? And the third is practice and practice. So keep doing this if this interests you to expand your sensitive, your sensitivity, your experience of vibration with the universe, your experience of knowing yourself, of knowing that click, ah, oh, this is right for me. This is me. This will help with that. So the three steps, seeing, looking at it with all of your senses, asking how does it feel, and practice, practice, practice. You can do this like at a restaurant. How does this restaurant feel? How does this street feel? How does this pencil feel? How does this tree feel? How does this person feel? How does it feel to my sensing, to me? Now notice I did not ask, how do I feel? Because that takes us into the realm of emotions. Mad, sad, scared, angry, depressed, I don't know, pissed off, sort of happy, <laughs> sort of happy, glad, excited. But we're not asking, how do I feel? We're asking, how does it feel? That will help produce this burst of feeling. And the sensing can become a regular part of your life. So we've done it again with visual and sound a lot. We're used to paying attention to, to some extent, to what we see and what we hear. 
but this feeling sensing can grow stronger and will become more and more sensitive to the slightest touch of the world upon us, the slightest feeling tone in anything we encounter. And the novelty of things will begin to increase back to that aliveness in life. So right now, for most of us, we're just habitually engaged with the world. And so everything's just, there's no novelty to it. It's just all the same, more of the same. This adds novelty to life. Again, aliveness to life. Because everything does, in fact, possess a unique feeling dimension to it. Everything is different from every other thing. So when we pay attention to the feeling tone of it, its novelty increases. Our sensitivity increases. Our aliveness increases. Our experience expands and we become more and more deeply connected to all that is. In fact, we might sometimes feel kind of high sometimes because of this. And we'll explore one more thing. So say I to yourself, I mean, not to yourself, say it out loud, say I, I, and hear your voice. Speaking is a vibration. I is who you are, source, spirit. I has been with you all of your life. You've been calling yourself I all of your life. I is the one element of your life that has been with you, that is actually who you are. It's been with you your whole life. I. Everything else changes all the time. Thoughts, feelings, sensations, relationships, activities. They come and go. They, they change. Nothing stays the same. The only thing that stays the same is I. I am. So say I am and feel the vibration. I am. I am. That is your unique sound. Your unique song. Your unique vibration. So you can continue to pay attention. I mean, you just talk to yourself throughout the day, probably without other people around or they're wondering what you're doing because they'll probably just think you're on the phone. <laughs> but anyway, you can talk to yourself and get more and more paying attention to your sound, your vibration, your song, your unique voice your unique vibration. Talk to yourself. Let yourself feel that. Talk out loud. I mean, that's how you feel it, not, not silently to yourself. Okay, and I'm going to invite you to one more thing as we close, but before I do that, I'll see if they're having... So Sharon Gray has some comments. This was such fun. It was a total sensorial experience. Love it. We get so caught up in thoughts and the labels we put on things, we forget that the body is a sensory instrument. I love how you've said that, Sharon. Yes, the body is a sensory instrument. I mean, that is really our portal to knowing who we are, to knowing the universe, to knowing other people, not our thoughts, not our, well, we, we label our brain as knowing. No, it's this body, it's this tuning fork, it's this in tune, this vibration, this, this is where, by being in tune with our bodies, that we can know more about ourselves in the universe. That's lovely. And you've said it so beautifully. Thank you so much, Sharon. I can feel the bod bodily vibration when I say I am. Oh, lovely. Lovely. So, any questions? I don't think so. <laughs> you got really got it, Sharon. Th and thank you for those comments. They're beautiful. So the one thing that you might want to do uh, as you take this out in the world is notice your walk. So as you walk, do the same sort of thing when you walk. Notice your walk and invite yourself to walk as it wants to walk. Notice that. Walk as it wants to walk. Yes, this body, this being, this I. How does it want to walk? Not the egoic I. There's nothing wrong with the ego. I'm not saying that. But rather than 
asking how do I, like my ego, want to walk, ask, how does it want to walk, this being? Now, if you can say how do I want to walk without kicking in the ego, go ahead and do that. But just notice your walk and invite yourself to walk as it wants to walk. Okay, so anything else? This has been fabulous. Thank you for being here today. And let's see. Love your comments. Love your thoughts. Uh, please uh, be in contact. If you ever have any questions, any topics you want me to talk about, please put, put them in a message or in a comment, and I will love to talk about them. All right. Thank you. Really enjoy this. Play with this. Allow yourself to become more and more sensitive to yourself, to the knowing, to the universe, to to other people, to, um, to living, being more alive, fully alive. Bye.